Um, I went to Craig Bellamy's book launch. I went up to Cardiff and uh, spent some time with him and he gave me a copy of the book. And I read the whole book in, in that night. So we went to the book launch. Uh, and there was a lot of local press, press, um, Oliver Holt, um, who was the ghostwriter for his book and the ghostwriter for my book, where they were, everyone was waxing lyrical about the book. Um, so after the book launch, me, Oliver Holt and um, Craig went for something to eat and Ollie was asking for my thoughts on the book and I said it was, it was okay, but knowing Craig and been with him for eight years, nine years, the book I thought was very watered down. Um, and I said, a lot of autobiographies I've read, um, Rio's, a lot of the footballers I know, their books when they come out, they are politically correct. Um, they obviously still were playing at the time, which makes it hard to be brutally honest. Um, and I said to Oliver, oh, obviously I've got a number of stories I could talk about, and but if I ever did mine, I would be brutally honest. If that means I'm digging myself out, so be it. But I think you can't go halfway with autobiographies and straight away he was on to me about, about doing a book. Over the last four years, we've got together now and again and the publishers were like, wow, this is, and that meant a lot when a publishers whose job is, they do autobiographies and they've done hundreds and hundreds. And when you've got the, the main guy saying, Kieran, this is, this book is one of a kind, is the most honest, brilliant book that we have read. And he wasn't just saying that because I'm, I'm in his company, he really believed that. So yeah, I think that that is uh, when it comes out, people will be refreshed of how honest and how brutally honest the book is. What is the point of doing the autobiography where it's some lies in there, half truths, and there's an agenda to make yourself come across not so bad or make yourself come across as an angel and stuff like that? That was never my case because, yes, I've made um, many mistakes in my personal life, professional life, and I think the title of my book, it says it all when it says, um, all too soon, why is too late? I think that is a perfect, um, a perfect um, book title for my book because there was a lot of mistakes along the way and um, now I'm older and wiser and looking back with a bit of um, perspective. Um, yeah, and that's how the book is. Going into the jungle, um, I said this, a lot of people had their, uh, had their ideas of me and when I came out, the, the, the reaction I got was a very positive. People were like, oh, you came across real, really good. Like they, they weren't expecting that. They just think you are a, a bad person, a bad guy. Um, and again, in my book, there's chapters where you think, what the hell was, was I doing? And what the hell? Um, but when you read my story from start to finish, you, a lot of a lot of the the ideas, the perceptions you had of me, um, you'll get a great understanding of what made me the way I was and, and stuff like that. So um, it's very interesting, yeah. There's a few chapters in the book where were really tough um, going over. I've read books and there's like a, a down period in a book, like there'd be one bombshell of a chapter and then you're going to normal. And I think the, um, the editor of my book from the publishers he says when he read my book he said every chapter you're like wow 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 there's just like no downtime close up to the be uh, to the book it'll, it'll probably be serialized in a national paper where they have some stories and I'll be doing a lot of on radio shows tv shows um but again going back to the cray because he went back to his hometown club he did a massive book launch at um uh, cardiff city um, he invited close family and friends members. Um, they were paying members from the public, corporate members of Cardiff, and they all came together. They had a meal. Um, he had me as a guest speaker. He had himself. Um, he had Oliver Holt. Um, so yeah, it was a great evening where everyone who comes, they get a free book. Um, you have a sit down question and answers. Um, he had someone hosting, it was DJ Spoon, he was hosting, asking him questions about the book and then he opened up to the floor with the special guests um, and it was a very positive um, evening um, and he, the, the money that he raised that night, he went to his, um, he had a charity in Sierra Leone 
Um, so I thought I wanted to do something similar where I've got my close family and friends, but it's also opened up to the the public of Ipswich because I'm a local boy. Um, we're doing it at the football club. Ipswich are gonna put the details out soon in early December of how you can come. The special guest on the night will be myself, Jermaine Genus, who's done a lot of stuff on Match of the Day and stuff, and, and Craig Bellamy. Again, we'll have the question and answers my fans will hear stories from the book, ask about the book. Oliver Holf will talk about the book as well, um, get a free copy of the book. And the money we raise um, from the selling of the tickets and stuff, half of the money will go to the Ipswich Academy and half will go to a charity of my choice. Proud is the perfect way to sum up my book. And again, some of the, for Ipswich fans as well, there's stories that they would never have known. We've sort of got big stories from myself and Sheepshanks and Burley, how it wasn't all roses. And obviously there's the Bobby Robson. I've got three or four chapters dedicated to the great man and how he, why he was so great. We obviously had the, the um, well publicized me not playing on the right. And I explain my side of the story, which gives a lot more uh, meaning to that. So yeah, it's, um, It'll be fascinating for Ipswich Town because this, because a lot of my, a lot of my career was at Ipswich and Newcastle with Sir Bobby.